Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to automatically upload videos from Dropbox to YouTube. So if you are uploading YouTube videos on a regular basis, then this amazing automation is for you. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to upload a new file or a new video on my Dropbox account, then automatically I'm going to capture the detail of that file and I'm going to use this to automatically search for the details that I require to upload a video on my YouTube channel like the video title, video description and video tags. So as I'm going to get all these details, then automatically by using all these details, I'm going to upload my video on my YouTube channel. So for my objective, I have to build a connection between Dropbox, Google Sheets and YouTube. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software of automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, Whenever I'm going to upload a new file on Dropbox, then automatically I'm going to look up for my values from Google Sheet and automatically I'm going to upload my video in my YouTube channel. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can automatically upload videos from Dropbox to YouTube. So here what we are going to do is we are going to automatically set up an automation and an amazing workflow in such a way that whenever we will upload a new video on our Dropbox account in a particular folder then automatically by using those video detail we are going to first search for the details that are required to upload a video on our YouTube channel from Google Sheet. So here from Google Sheet we are going to get the detail like the video title, video description and the video tags. So as we are going to receive all these required details then automatically by using all these details and the video that we have uploaded on Dropbox we are going to upload the video on our YouTube channel. So for creating this automation and for doing all this automatically, what we are going to do is we are going to use Pabli Connect. So with Pabli Connect, we are going to build this connection between Dropbox, Google Sheet and YouTube. And now whenever we will upload a video on Dropbox, then automatically by capturing all the details from our Dropbox video and Google Sheet, we are automatically going to upload a video on our YouTube channel. So we are going to use Pabli Connect and for building this connection it requires zero coding and programming skills. So for using Pabli Connect we need to search for pabli.com slash connect in our browser and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options sign in and sign up for free. So if we don't have any account with Pabli Connect then we can just click on this sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of our time and it will give us 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and this will take us to this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, what we need to do is we need to create a new workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow so I'm going to name it as my objective which is to automatically upload videos from Dropbox to YouTube. And now what I need to do is I need to first select my folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab I will find all the folders that I have created in my Pabli Connect account. And here I'm going to use this particular folder of YouTube videos. And now I need to click on create. And here it will take us to this window. So this is the window of our workflow and here we have two boxes trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we need to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be Dropbox. So I'm going to select Dropbox here. And now I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new file will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect Dropbox with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Dropbox. And here my connection is successful as I've already logged into my Dropbox account in my browser. So it has detected that now here what we need to do is we need to give the folder path of the specific folder where we are going to upload the videos that we want to upload on our YouTube channel. So for getting the folder path what I need to do is I need to go back to my Dropbox account and here I'm going to use this particular folder that is named as YouTube videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this name of my folder. I will go back to Pabli Connect 
and I'm going to paste that here in this tab. Now I need to create a folder path and for creating the folder path, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add slash ahead of my folder name. So here I have created this folder path for the specific folder that I want to use. So here this is going to be my folder path and now what I need to do is I need to go back to Dropbox and in this particular folder I'm going to upload a new video that I want to upload on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to click here on this plus icon button. I will click on upload and I'm going to click on file. Now I'm going to select the file that I want to upload. So this is my file that I want to upload. And here on this folder we can see I have successfully uploaded this new file that is named as golden serenity capturing the majestic sunset dot mp4. So here this is my file name and I have uploaded this on my Dropbox account. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to click on save and send test ticket button and here in the response I'm going to get the response of the latest video that has been uploaded on my Dropbox. So here this is the shareable link of my file. Also in this I have this URL I have the name of my file that is golden serenity capturing the majestic sunset dot mp4 and I have all these other details of my file. So here I have uploaded this video on my Dropbox account and automatically I have received this response with all the video details in my Pabli Connect account. So here I have received this response but if you don't receive this response instantly then you don't have to worry because this is a polling based response and within the 10 minutes you are going to receive this response of the new video that you are going to upload on your Dropbox account. So 10 minutes are the polling time of Dropbox and now what is going to happen is that as you are going to upload new videos on your Dropbox folder then automatically within the 10 minutes Dropbox is going to collect all the details and all the data of your videos and it is going to send that automatically to Pabli Connect. So here as this is a polling based response and I have received my response of my video and in this I have this particular name of my file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the name of my file and I'm going to use this name to find the required details for my video like the video title, description and tags so that I can upload my video on my YouTube channel. So by using this name of my file I'm going to look up for my values in my Google Sheet. So for that I need to set up my actions tab so I'm going to open this tab and here my action application is going to be Google Sheets so I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select Google Sheets here and now I need to give an action event so I'm going to open this tab and in this tab I'm going to use this option of lookup spreadsheet rows v2 so this is going to be my action event so I'm going to select this and now I need to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect so I'll click here on connect I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google now here I need to click on allow to give access to my account and now my connection is successful. Now here first what I need to do is I need to select my spreadsheet and for that let me take you to my Google Sheet and in Google Sheet I'm using this particular spreadsheet of YouTube videos. So this is going to be my spreadsheet that I want to use to get the lookup values. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the spreadsheet in my Pabli Connect account. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And here I need to select my spreadsheet so I'm going to open this tab and in this tab I will find all the spreadsheets that I have in my Google Sheet account. So I'm going to use this YouTube video spreadsheet I'm going to select this and I only have one sheet in my spreadsheet so that is already selected and now I need to give my lookup value lookup column and the and column of data. So for the lookup value what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the name of my file that I'm going to receive and I'm going to upload on my Dropbox folder. So I'm going to receive the name of my file from my Dropbox response. So I'm going to use that response and I'm going to map that here in this tab. So for that I need to use mapping and what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I need to click here, I will open this response of Dropbox and here this is my file name so I'm going to map this. And now I'm going to use this lookup value to find in my lookup column and here for my lookup column and, and column of data I need to take you back to my spreadsheet. So here this is my spreadsheet and this column A is going to be my lookup column. So in this particular column I'm going to find the name of my file that I'm going to upload on my Dropbox and as I'm going to find that value in this particular column then I will get all the data of that particular row 
like the video title, description and tags till this column of column D. So this column D is going to be my and data of column. Now I will map all these details. So let's go back to public connect. And here my lookup column is column A. So I'm going to type that. And now I need to give my and column of data. So my and column of data is column D. And here I have filled all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is my file name. Also in this I have my video title. And with the video title I have the video description. And also I have all the video tags that I want to add in my YouTube video. Now as I have received all these required details and I have received my video from my Dropbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all these details and I'm going to upload a video on my YouTube channel. So for that I need to add one more action step. And here my action application is going to be YouTube. So I'm going to select YouTube here. And now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And upload video beta will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to connect YouTube with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I need to click on add new connection. And I will connect with YouTube. Now here I need to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here. And my connection here is successful. Now here I need to give my channel ID. And for the channel ID let me take you to my YouTube channel. And here I'm going to use this particular channel which is named as demo channel. So this is my channel ID and I only have one channel ID here. So I will go back to public connect and my channel ID is already selected as I already have one channel ID. And now what I need to do is I need to fill all these details like the title, description, URL, tags to upload a new video on our YouTube channel. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to map all these details from my response of Google Sheet and Dropbox. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google Sheets and I need to first map my video title. So this is my video title so I'm going to map this. Similarly I'm going to give my video description. So this is my video description so I'm going to map this. Now I need to give the video URL. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this response of Dropbox and here this is my shareable link. So this is my video URL so I'm going to map this. And now what I need to do is I need to give the tags that I want to add in my YouTube video. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets. And here these are my tags. So I'm going to map this. And also I have to give the category ID. So if you don't know what is your category ID for your YouTube video, then what you need to do is you need to add one more action step between these steps of Google Sheet and YouTube. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So you need to click on this add action step button. And now we will search for YouTube. I'm going to select YouTube here. And now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And list video categories will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect YouTube with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. And we have already built this connection between YouTube and Pabli Connect. So we are going to use this existing connection. So I'm going to click on save. And now I need to give a country code. So here you can fill your country code according to your region. So I'm right now in India. So I'm going to give my country code as IN. And now I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. And in this response I have the list of all the video categories that I can use in YouTube videos. So for example for film and animation videos I have the category ID that is 1. Also for autos and vehicle videos I have the category ID that is 2. For music the category ID is 10 and like this you can find all the categories and the category ID. So here my category ID is 22. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to type my category ID that is 22. Now here I have filled all the required details and I have mapped all these details here. So as I mapped these details I have made these details dynamic. Now what is going to happen is that as I'm going to upload a new video on my Dropbox then automatically I'm going to receive the response of the new video and as I'm going to receive the new response then automatically all these details that I've mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail in the real time. Now what I need to do is I need to scroll down and here I need to fill all these details. Like I can select my visibility status so I want to keep it private so I have filled that. If I want to notify my subscriber I can select that option here too so I have selected yes. And if I want to allow embedding then I can select that option too. So I have selected that and here I need to select my audience. 
So I have selected these details here too. Now here I have this important note and in this important note what I have is that after clicking on save and send test tokens button I'm going to accept the terms and condition of my YouTube community and it means that I'm following all the community guidelines by uploading a video on my YouTube channel. Before clicking on save and send test tokens button I need to follow all these guidelines and I need to follow all the terms and condition and also in this I have this information. So here what we have is that as I'm going to click on save and test tokens button it is going to start uploading a video on my YouTube channel. So if my video is of around 400 MB then it is going to take some time of around 8 minutes and if the video is larger than that and it is going to be up to of 2 GB then what is going to happen is it is going to take more time. So here after clicking on save and test tokens button what I need to do is I need to add an actions tab and I need to make my workflow delay for 8 minutes. So according to my video size it is going to take some time and it is going to get upload and after delaying my workflow what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a get video upload status action event in my actions tab of YouTube and I'm going to get the status of my video and in my status if I get the uploaded status then it will mean that I have uploaded my video on my YouTube channel and if I'm not getting that status and it is not uploaded then what I need to do is I need to follow these steps of delay and get upload status again until I get the successful status of upload. So according to my size I need to follow all these instructions. So for the video size of around 400 MB I need to do this for one time and if the video size is more than that then I need to follow all these instructions again and again. And if you also want to know how you can automatically upload large videos on your YouTube channel then we have a specific video on our YouTube channel that you can check from our YouTube library. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test request button and here in this response I have received this request ID and here I have the request status of initiated. So by using this request ID what I'm going to get is I'm going to get my video upload status. So I'm going to use this request ID after delaying my workflow for 8 minutes. So for adding my delay I need to add my actions tab and here my action application is going to be delay by Pabli. So I'm going to select that and now I need to give an action event so I'm going to open this tab and add time delay will be my action event and now I'm going to click on connect and now what I need to do is I need to select my delay unit and the delay value. So I want to delay it for 8 minutes so my delay unit is going to be minutes and here what I need to do is I need to give my delay value. So here my delay value will be of 8 and now I'm going to make a delay for 8 minutes so I'm going to click on save and send test to get button and I have delayed it for 8 minutes. Now what I need to do is I need to add my last action step and here again I'm going to use YouTube as my action application. So I'm going to select YouTube. I'm going to give my action event so I'm going to open this tab and get video upload status will be my action event so I'm going to select this and now I'm going to click on connect. I'm going to use the existing connection. I will click on save and now I'm going to map my request ID so I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this last response of YouTube and here this is my request ID so I'm going to map this and now I'm going to click on save and send test request button and here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and in this response I have all the detail of the video that I have uploaded on my YouTube channel and now I need to scroll down and here I have the status of uploaded. So this means that I have automatically uploaded this video on my YouTube channel and the video size of this video was less than 400 MB that's why I have uploaded this video within the 8 minutes but if you are not getting this uploaded status then what you need to do is you need to follow these two steps again until you get the status of uploaded. So you need to follow the steps of delay and YouTube get video upload status until you change your status to uploaded. So here I have uploaded this video on my YouTube channel. Now to check this I have to take you to my YouTube channel. I will go to content. And here on content we can see I have uploaded this new video on my YouTube channel automatically by using the video that I have uploaded on my Dropbox account. So I'm going to open this video and here these are all the details that I have added and I have received all these details from my response of Google Sheet. So here this is the title that is Golden Serenity Capturing the Majestic Sunset and also I have this description and also in my video I have added some tags. So here these are all the tags that I have added in my video and I have added this by using the responses from Dropbox and Google Sheet. 
So here my connection between Dropbox, Google Sheet and YouTube is working successfully. And now whenever I'm going to upload a new video on my Dropbox account, then automatically by catching the detail of that Dropbox video, I'm going to first look up for my values in my Google Sheet and I'm going to get all the required details that are needed to upload a video on my YouTube channel. So as I'm going to receive all these details, then automatically I'm going to upload a video on my YouTube channel. So here I've successfully created this workflow between Dropbox, Google Sheet and YouTube. And now I can automatically upload new videos from Dropbox to YouTube. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here we have successfully created this workflow and this automation between Dropbox, Google Sheet and YouTube for automatically uploading videos from Dropbox to YouTube. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Dropbox and my trigger event was new file. Then I have set up my action steps and here my first action application was Google Sheets and my action event here was lookup spreadsheet rows v2. Then I have used YouTube as my action application and first I have got the video categories by using list video categories action event. Then I have used upload video beta as my action event and after that I have delayed my workflow by using delay by Pabli. And in the last, I have used YouTube as my action application and my action event here was get video upload status beta. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.